Hello guys and girls, I'm going to review the Mirage Buffet yet again, lunch and dinner. <laughs> now it just, things change all the time, so I feel compelled when I have extensively reviewed one buffet and I think I've nailed it, and then I come back and it's different, then I feel compelled to actually do another video review, you know, rather than just updating the website, because um, you, you also want to see it for yourself, you know the changes. Now, let's start from um, what's probably the section that has, over the years, um, decreased in quality the most, and that is the salad section. Remember they used to have a um, made-to-order salad section with all the best possible toppings and, and, and um, dressings and uh, but things have changed now you have to make it yourself and the choices of lettuce are pretty um, poor actually and in terms of toppings they have done away with the artichokes they have blue cheese which is fine you know but they have blue cheese on the other side as well and i'll show you so how much blue cheese can you have <laughs> and so it's pretty average really they used to have their own housemaid um, dressing and i don't know if it's here but uh, these are the various dressings you can have but it just isn't the same in fact I've, you know what i love vegetables that i pretty much skipped it the only things i actually really liked were the kalamata olives and i'll show them to you Did you see them? Did I manage to show them to you? Over there. They were actually quite lovely. And the olive oil, which is a uh, flat one, was okay. Of course, it's a mix, you know, it's not pure at all. Um, so that's really decreased quite a lot. Um, if you're interested in healthy food and really good salads, there are better options in Las Vegas. Uh, and those buffets, they also have great stations besides salads and veggies, okay? Um, so you've got more cheese here, blue cheese, which is very welcome, and nice parmesan flakes, the crackers, and here you have uh, smoked salmon, um, tabbouleh, and hummus. And then you have uh, what the Italians would call grissini <laughs> and some pizza bread and some uh, deli, you know, cold cut, cold meats, deli meats, mortadella here with salamis and hot ham, the one, the round one. That's good, you know. And then they have prosciutto with some more salami, Genoa salami, and I believe this is Napolitan salami, which is spicy. And I really like this station, the way it's presented. It's really nice. And there was a nice lady here that keeps on, keep, keeps on cleaning it up and clearing it up. And it's really nice to see that that takes place. Then you walk a little, then you walk a little bit and you find the Asian Chinese section. So egg, flour and corn soup and uh, wonton, pork and shrimp wonton noodle soup. Again, I've said it many times, they used to have a made to order wonton soup, which was to die for. Now it's just, I'm sorry, I've just run up the mail. I mean, the wontons are pretty disintegrating in the liquid, but it's as good as it gets when it just sits there, right? You can't ask for more. Or maybe you can. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Steamed rice and uh, vegetable and egg fried rice. And here you have, um, I'll show you. Seafood bun, oh well. I didn't think about the steam, did I? Seafood bun, that's better. And pork pot stickers, mind the steam. Oh yeah, there you go. Chinese hot mustard sweet and sour sauce. Hot mustard and sweet and sour sauce. Pork and shrimp wonton, you know, something really nice and heavy. <laughs> pork and shrimp one ton and then vegetable chofan noodles and they were very very flavorful very, I like them when they, when I see them like this I know they're good I've had good noodle dishes here and uh, at the Aria buffet very very good and then I had a great pad thai at Studio B but I'll tell you all about it I've been a bit black bean chicken and Chinese broccoli stir-fry absolutely fine well, well cooked well prepared 
And here you have some sushi, tomato tofu salad, soybean, pickled ginger, sesame seaweed salad. And here you've got some sushi, some assorted sushi. And this one here, spicy crab roll, in my opinion, was by far the best. Let's see if I can show you better. The miso soup, on the other hand, was just not very good. It was just, sorry. And it was just a little bit too salty, you know. Um, it wasn't that good, it wasn't that good. And here you've got the bar section, and you know, you lucky boys and girls, if you like to drink alcohol in your meal, it's included in the price, which makes it a very affordable buffet, actually. I don't drink alcohol very much, so for me, it's a bit of a waste. You know, for people like me, I'd rather that the price were lower, and, but of course, you know, you gotta please everybody, so I'm fine with that. The price is still affordable in this buffet. So this is just a little overlook of this, dining area it's getting a little quieter because it's you know between lunch and dinner and that's the quietest time i want to show you this is lunch and then i'll show you the, the differences for dinner now i'll be very brief this is a self-serve drink section i've talked extensively about it in my other videos i love it you can really choose all sorts of drinks all sorts of drinks you just click if you don't know what you you just click on all drinks and uh, you've got low calorie, no calorie, caffeine free, food flavor, and more um, to the point that you're gonna have sparkling water, flavor sparkling water, all sorts of things. I love it. I used to not be happy about it, but I much prefer these days to serve my own drinks because when I was at Aria yesterday, I had to wait forever for the drinks to be served. and. Uh, kind of an inconvenience here you just have whatever you want they've got green tea you can have you actually end up drinking a lot more which probably is good <laughs> you know it's probably good for us uh, and then you've got your juices of course they're not freshly squeezed we know that uh, cappuccino hot chocolate original cappuccino and french vanilla I've had the french vanilla it's like you know artificial what can I say it's not if you're from Italy don't expect anything outstanding but it's good enough you know it's flavorful then here you've got your regular decaf and coffee and what I do if that is a bit too weak for you you add a little bit of coffee in that and you'll be fine whole milk and half and half you know in the good old days about three years ago they used to also serve not here but in other MGM buffets they used to serve also um, almond milk I think yeah which was incredible right it's gone <laughs> various teas you have green tea black tea and decaf black tea so that's good enough with honey at the bottom there's more on the other side and then you've got your green tea already made with raspberry tea and so forth more of this and more of this on the other side and there's more and more and more it repeats itself which is handy because you don't have to line up so i really like this and uh, never really understood what these are for maybe they were tables once you know and now they're not tables anymore it's a nice large area and i'm sure this session i i had something really delicious which is new and i want to show you i'm pretending i'm walking with you very slowly <laughs> Okay, not, not there yet. You've got corn, corn, of course, corn on the cob, grilled pork chops, spicy okra with tomato and base. I mean, that's a spicy dish. Even I can't do that. And then here you've got German bread potato salad and coleslaw. Now, any hands you see, they're not my hands. And then here you've got fish and chips, which I still love. I still think it's a really good thing that they make and serve. And and uh, uh, the fish was good. The chips were very flavorful. This time, rather than having the thick chips, they have very thin, thin fries, which makes them very salty and very flavorful, but they are, you know, a bit less healthy. It's less healthy, more unhealthy. See, very thin, but very flavorful. And uh, somehow people have picked the, the fish from here, which is silly. There you go. It looks a bit silly now that it hasn't been manned, but these will go. They don't have this for dinner, so hurry up. Um, 
Okay, now this is the, well, it's an interesting section here. Spanish saffron rice, which is absolutely fine, cooked very well. Uh, breakfast taquito, which is nothing special actually. I think it's gotten worse with some fat <laughs> wet potato, flavorful roasted potatoes. Then you've got grilled chicken, I'll show you in a minute. Grilled chicken and uh, fried fry plantains. I'll show you. Flour, tur oh, you got some tortilla here, look. There's only one left. It's been like this for an hour. Um, well, there were two left. I had one and now there's one left. And then you've got um, guacamole, which is not as great as it used to be here at Mirage. It's still good, but a bit flavorless. Very bland. Pico de gallo and uh, Diced jalapenos and more jalapenos and some lime and some tortilla chips and cheese sauce and chicken tortilla soup. But if you actually pick up the tortilla I show you, I showed you earlier, the one tortilla I showed you earlier, and you come to this section, I'll let some people through, you will actually be able to make yourself a really delicious tortilla. And I'm going to go straight to the business. Shrimp fajitas with chimichurri. The shrimp fajitas here were, are absolutely divine. And I made myself three fajitas that way using that tortilla over there. It was delicious. Grilled dill lemon bread and chupino. And chupino is a fish soup. Very flavorful. Summer vegetable medley, nothing special at all. Um, grilled mahi mahi. And saffron rice. I met some really lovely ladies, very nice, nice young ladies. Um, and when I say young, I mean they were like 10 and 13, okay? <laughs> lovely, lovely girls. And um, I've been lucky this time. Usually when I see kids, I'm a little bit concerned. You know what I'm like, right? I like peace and quiet, but this time I've been very blessed. Okay, so where were we? Cape Canensis with saute spinach, fine. This was all absolutely fine. Nothing outstanding, but it was fine. Except for those steamed vegetables, they were really very plain. You can grab some bananas here and have some breakfast tomorrow. You shouldn't do that, but whatever. And oranges, and oranges. Okay, now here we go. Remember, this is still lunch, okay? So let's wait for dinner. Seafood ceviche, lemon wedges, jumbo shrimp, cocktail sauce, and uh, some more shrimp. New England ch clam chowder. Now you're gonna see my hand, okay? You're gonna see it. I wanna show you. It's actually not thick, which is finally, usually so thick and um, uh, uh, inedible. Chicken noodle soup. And I'm gonna go to a couple of other sections, but I'm gonna start from the, the pizza over there because I wanna actually let some people through. Now, last time I was here, I said that the pizza was very good and it still is fine, but after having just been at Aria and I, after having had the pizza at Aria, wow, that was really, that was, um, they were really, really good. They were, that pizza there was even better. Uh, and it's always tough with pizza because it sits here for a long time and it's not fair, you're supposed to have it fresh. But at, at Aria, I, I really thought they reached new levels of greatness. And having said that, guys and girls, having said that, Aria has really reached new levels of greatness, but I'll tell you later about it. Pasta Primavera, Chicken Vino Bianco, Vegetable Medley, French Toast, which was absolutely, it wasn't good at all. It wasn't good at all. I mean, it was just level, the same type of, of, of French toast that you can have in a low budget buffet. And then you have some eggs benedict, of course not that many left because we are really nearing the end of lunch or rather brunch. And so all of that will disappear and you'll have dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the, the rotisserie section. So it's a good buffet. It's a good buffet, it's still a good buffet, but I'm gonna show you dinner before I actually wrap it up, okay? I'm thinking right now, 
I haven't had anything that was bad, okay? At, at worst, it was just a couple of plain dishes, but I think you'll be happy here and the price is affordable. The price is reasonable, you know. So as you can see, one is well done and the other one is rare. I'll let you enjoy all of this. Say done. On this other side you've got corn, mashed potatoes, sausages and bacon. You see all the hands you see are not mine, none of them are mine, just in case. And with regards to um, the bacon was a bit too fat, fat, but I know that some of you like it, really like the fat stripes, I mean, it's flavorful, but I thought it was too fat. But again, you know, I'm not, um, it's, it's really a personal choice. So I, I don't, what, what, what matters, I think it's flavor and texture and how well things are cooked. And I have to tell you, uh, with the exception of the completely declined, non-existing salad section, um, and you know, a couple of other bland dishes that I mentioned to you, there were some nice surprises, but it's not the best buffet in Vegas. It only was a long time ago and then it declined and it never really recovered because I think that's how they want to be. I think they're happy being this way. And I think what happens since the advent of free alcohol, including included in the price, um, this buffet has suffered and it's never recovered, but it's still one of the better buffets in Las Vegas, no doubt about it. And if you come from where, you know, buffets are expensive or non-existent, you will be thrilled. I want to show you the dessert section and then I'm going to continue eating and then I'll show you the differences for dinner if there are any, and I know there are any, but I want to show you another thing quick. Oh, and by the way, you're not supposed to eat as you serve yourself, you know? You're not supposed to do that. Here they won't tell you anything. Generally, they don't tell you uh, because, um, well, because they don't, right? But it, there are some etiquettes. You want to know about the etiquette of buffet eating? You have to use a new plate, a fresh plate all the time. You cannot eat whilst you help yourself like that. That's because you might touch your mouth, you know, it's just not hygienic. And and try and be polite and don't rush to the stations as if they're about to close forever <laughs> I'll show you something else and in this section here they're doing omelettes still because it's uh, still lunch but when lunch is over they will be making made to order pasta okay I'm gonna go away so that people can walk through go a bit further up and that's really next to the next to the pizza if you don't know where it is and this way next to the salad on the right you have a small um, dessert section and I'm gonna show you right now bread pudding they used to serve bread pudding and there, and there was a chef here that would follow his own special recipe it was to die for I'm gonna try it and let you know um, berry cobbler so far I'm gonna show you this as slowly as I can okay so far I mean it's it's good it's a small dessert section but it's good though this time I think the best one it's hard okay on a par best ones are win of course win win is really great with in terms of dessert and aria aria really surprised me this time because the dessert section is small a bit bigger than this one um but everything was so perfectly prepared like excellent excellent quality control chef really involved and allowed to be involved because i said it some other and some other and then here by the way you've got nice freshly cut fruit which is nice because you know you actually have real fruit as opposed to tin fruit um, so what I was saying is sometimes and I was told that and I've said it before but for those who haven't heard it <laughs> sometimes sometimes chefs are limited I was told as to what they can or cannot do and I think it's all a matter of I'm gonna get back to that area in just a minute uh, so here you've got frozen yogurt you used to have gelato here it's gone cutting corners I presume people are not complaining so you know whatever <laughs> non-fat vanilla yogurt non-fat chocolate yogurt raspberry <clears throat> raspberry sorbet and peach sorbet at least you have six flavors right as opposed to the same 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 old same old and uh, here as I was saying I was told that chefs are limited within management 
supposedly tell them what they can and cannot do, the extent to which you're going to create a perfect dish or not. It's all hearsay, but that's what I was told. So sometimes, you know, we, we, we shouldn't blame the chef so much because they are limited. It's all like an orchestra of effort from management all the way down to personnel. So I'm going to try a few things and let you know, but I wanted you to, sh I wanted you to see it first, okay? I wanted you to see it and, uh, and, make, and have a good idea of what you can find here. And then as I try these dishes that I haven't tried yet, I will let you know uh, from when I'm, where I'm sitting down. And uh, so I'm just gonna continue and then I'll show you the bits, the, the different areas, whatever is different for dinner. So hopefully by the end of this, you have a really, really, really good idea. And also I'll show you the price as well. Okay. So I'm having this again and again and again because it's so good. The pizza actually is quite good. Like last time, you know, the salami pizza, very good, very good. And yet I think uh, Arias was even better. And just a minute. The Mirage pudding here is still very good. I'd say a little bit too sweet, but wow, is it good. I think they're following somebody's recipe still. <laughs> so I have to have more of that Mirage bread pudding. It's really outstanding. I really believe it's still following that recipe from that chef I met a, long, a few years ago. It was amazing. And he had, apparently that was his recipe or their recipe. You know, I forgot exactly what the story is, but nonetheless, it's a Mirage recipe and it's out of this world. Have you noticed everything is yellow? So I've got the Mirage pudding, which is divine. Very good quality, well, good quality pineapple slices. And then I've got my mashed potato. What do you think? What do you think about this combination? Mashed potato, very, very good. Um, so there are some dishes that are still very well prepared, you know, reminiscing, reminiscent of the old days when Mirage was the place to eat. But then again, as I said to you, ooh, these days, Aria is getting better and better and better. And I really like the chef I met. He was really on top of things. I like to see that, you know, that is always a good sign. But here, you know, with the exception, as I said to you, with a few bland plates or dishes, it's quite good. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I don't think so. Um, but there will be a few changes for dinner. I'm hoping to show them to you. If they're taking their all, the sweet old time, I have to go at some point. So I'll just tell you what they're going to be. I'm going to ask. I already know, but I'm going to ask to make sure, and then I'll tell you, and I'll show you where they will be. Well, just in case you notice this lovely honey here, this is not from Mirage. I actually somehow carried it all the way from the Aria Buffet because I just didn't have it then. And I carried it out, carried it with me, and uh, just lovely. Just a little souvenir of how good the Aria Buffet was this time. It was better than before. And if you are into actually sugar-free sweeteners and desserts, um, and I'm gonna go back and show you the sugar-free desserts here at Mirage, just in case, because they have some. But I wanted to say, I was having, I was at Starbucks in, uh, on the casino floor of Excalibur, out of all places, because that was covered from, by the resort fee there. Uh, sorry, no, 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 the resort credit, which many of you will have when you book at Excalibur. And uh, they had stevia, or stevia, depending on how you pronounce it, stevia. And stevia is a natural sweetener, which is absolutely fabulous, the, the healthiest you can find. And they had it, and I was completely blown away. Excalibur, right? And then I, I have to check if they have it here. I'll double check. They don't seem to have it, obviously, in the self-serve. I mean, that would be outstanding when that happens. It, it'll be, it will happen. It'll take a while. And then, you know, sometimes, just to tell you, sometimes you go to the higher-end resorts like Bellagio, where I'm staying this time, and there's nothing there. The amenities are just not there, and, and the little touches are just not there yet. So I was a little disappointed. Whilst I was actually blown away by Excalibur, which still managed to do something wrong, <laughs> just to spice it up. But I have to give credit where credit is due, and you can read all about that on top-buffet.com. Now I'm gonna continue with this. 
So the cool seafood section now, as you can see, it's a little different for dinner in that they have actually brought crab legs and I'll show them to you a little bit more close up in a minute because as you can imagine, everybody flocks to this station. I want to make sure you see them as well as possible. And no, that's not my hand, you see, I remind you of that, but I wanted you to have a really good look. <laughs> So they've brought new dishes, obviously, where the breakfast areas used to be. I'll show you. Now this soup, I can't ask anybody. It's very noisy behind in the kitchen area. I don't think there's anybody managing these stations today. Anyway, um, I don't know what this is. Okay, I haven't had it yet. Because this is just brought me brought up. It looks like tomatoes. Sorry, potatoes I meant with... Um, uh, meat, chicken, I think it's chicken, yeah, and some, perhaps, some sort of vegetables, but I will ask if I find somebody here, there's a big commotion going on, and I'll try and have a little taste, though I am full, I just wanted to show you the difference in, uh, between lunch and dinner, just the areas that have changed, and this, again, they used to have, um, here they have the eggs benedict, now they've brought out no labeling, by the way. Don't take my word for it. Look, no labeling. They brought out uh, collard greens, I believe. No labeling. And chicche vino bianco, they say. So it's like some Italian pasta, the farfalle, with some chicken sauce. You want another plate or another plate? Another plate. It's just crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Did you want to see what's going on? The lady's so funny. It's funny, you know. I won't say anything, I'll let you decide. And then here now, of course, as you can see, they're going to prepare your made to order pasta dishes. There's the toppings there. I just can't eat anymore simple as that. Now I'm gonna go around and see the differences in, uh, the, see, show you if there are any more differences between lunch and dinner. But I want to say a couple more things and I want to go back to the dessert section just to show you a couple of things. Just in case I didn't highlight it before, it is frozen yogurt here. Which is a little bit better, right? Than other types of soft serve ice cream. And I just realized that I might not have shown you sugar free. Here we go. Gluten free. Can you read it? I don't think you can. And gluten-free. This is all gluten-free. Wow. Kind of unmanned a little bit. Um, now, none of these are gluten-free, no sugar-free. But I thought you should take a better look at it. Sometimes I rush it, you know. And here there's no labeling. So presumably it's not sugar-free, no gluten-free. Some desserts may contain alcohol. Please chat with the manager. So, I mean, it is okay. I love this pudding, guys. I love it. It's really, really good. Um, and by the way, this is banana and strawberries with yogurt, okay? But this pudding here, it's well worth it. I mean, as you can see, it was just two minutes ago and it's already gone. It's really, 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 really good. Kind of housemade type, housemade flavor and texture and so forth. So, there haven't been that many changes. And I, tell, I was told again that the dishes do vary according to you know the, the day of the week you may find if you come tomorrow there'll be a couple of dishes that weren't here today and some dishes that were here today they're not going to be here tomorrow so bear that in mind and you saw the differences between dinner and lunch they're, it's not huge the differences are not that remarkable in this particular buffet okay so as i'm sipping my green tea and uh looking at my banana <laughs> to tell you so I'm just gonna show you okay like that it's a lot better isn't it just, just look at what I'm eating and drinking so it is a good buffet to come to it's much more affordable than Bacchanal which is practically next door and Bacchanal in my opinion has, un has unfortunately undergone a steady decline and although there's it's still very popular there's still lineups I, I wouldn't necessarily I mean it's so expensive right 
It's so expensive. Check out, check us out on top-buffet.com. We have prices and detailed reviews. Um, you know, I can't say everything in one video because it just be too long. Um, so it might be worth your while checking this place out, Mirage, uh, if you're in this area. I think it's something you need to consider if you're into buffets. I think this time area has really excelled itself and it was only midweek. But it was dinner, you know, so it's always a little better, whilst this one is, was lunch with the beginning of dinner. And, you know, dinner is always more expensive and therefore more elaborate. But, but with all the considerations that I say with regards to uh, Aria, okay, don't just go rush and book it. Read what I say about Aria on top buffetcom or find my other video on Aria, a recent video, and then you'll understand what I mean. But I think this, this buffet here, Mirage, is very well considering. First of all, you're going to redeem a My Vegas reward for it. And you no, know, I mean, it will be free. I mean, it can't get any better. I mean, if I had this type of buffet at home, I think I'd eat out a lot more often. <laughs> I think Europeans, if, they, if, if you're a European and you come here, you'll be blown away. And maybe London has something, maybe. But uh, I think that with regards to buffets in Europe, we just don't have that concept. Um, I just, I don't know, especially Southern Europe, they just don't eat. <laughs> Ooh, eating too much. Oh, no, no, no. We have to watch our figure. She's completely alien to the pleasures of life, to me, in my opinion. Um, but, so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is definitely a top 10 buffet, one of the top 10. I'm gonna have to think a little bit more before I update the top five buffets in Vegas list on top buffetcom but I suggest you check it out before you book. And it includes also affordable buffets as well. Um, well, and then of course there are little tricks you can do to pay a little bit less, and I'll talk about that there. And I think this is it. I think I'm gonna leave you guys. Unless something else outstanding happens or they bring out something that they haven't brought out yet, I'm just gonna say over and out. <laughs> I'm gonna rush back to my Bellagio room, which reserved me so much adventure, even this one. Uh, just so much food for thought for you guys, you know, all these sacrifices I go through for you. <laughs> Although today I feel I am going through some sacrifices. I'm just give you, and uh, and you can ask me any questions on top buffetcom I have a comment section there, you can ask me. And I'll reply within 20, 24, 48 hours. Post your comments here on YouTube if you want. You're more than welcome. I'll post them. I'll read them. I may not reply, although sometimes I am tempted. But I'll, I've told you why, so I don't want to repeat myself forever. And so a big hug to all of you. Um, I'm going to sip this green tea here, trying to digest, having you all in mind and thanking you all. And see you from Las Vegas. Jules at top buffetcom Bye-bye. Uh, before I go, i got to tell you, this, this Dasani is so cold sparkling water it tastes like chlorine i don't know is it really dasani or is it just the brand being landed to the water i mean i've noticed it in many vegas buffets that now the sparkling water or club soda whatever tastes like chlorine and it bothers me to no end you know i mean how, dif how difficult it is to have a filtering system the only one that was actually fine was um aria and on this trip okay on this trip but i've been to i mean and i do mention it on every trip because to me it's a sign of cheapening out somewhere where you don't need to you know a little clutch i know many of you don't eat drink don't drink water but i mean if those who do you know i don't want to taste swimming pools when i drink so that really puts me off and to cover it all up i have to put so many lemons look at how many lemons i have to put and just and you can still come somehow taste it so i just want to tell you that okay guys enough 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 see you on top dashbuffet.com yeah,